Kevils is a political streamer who covers predominantly trans-related topics. She's done a lot to help the image of the trans community. She's taken people's channels down, falsely accuses people of crimes, and pours her funds into smuggling unregulated narcotics to children. Is this really the person you want representing your community? When it comes to being a group figurehead, someone who represents a group of people, the one thing you need to be is not manic, else you make your entire group look bad. Kevils denies being a group figurehead. According to Kevils, she's just a streamer. A streamer that is constantly praised by other crazies as being a trans figurehead. I'm gonna say Kevils is you nine on the left. The real left. What advice, Mike? Women don't usually tend to fuck dogs. <laughs> American deserve oh, no, 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 looks kind of suspect. Oh my god! What is sound syndrome? Oh, you faggot! Kefels uses her trans status as a shield on the internet. If you criticize Kefels for any reason, you're a transphobe. If you call her out for using transgenderism as a shield, you're a transphobe. If you criticize her as a trans person, you're no longer trans. You're done. Finished. Your trans rights? Revoked. If there's one thing Kefels has taught me, it's that there exists no situation in which you can't call the other guy a transphobe. If Kefels gets attacked by a honey badger, then clearly the honey badger is a transphobe. It seems less like she cares about the rights of trans people and more like she cares about the rights of trans people that agree with her. I've upset the really weird commentary channels. They can keep doing that. That's fine. Make your little videos about me. I don't care. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> When Technicals made a video on her, she responded to it on her stream. In the video, Technicals criticizes her for the same thing I did just now. She responds by saying he's a hypocrite because he called her a racist on Twitter. I called him out on Twitter for it. And he decided to be like, all right, you know what? See this good faith criticism? Um, fuck this. I'm just gonna start accusing Keffels of being racist. Now, she didn't seem to understand this, but don't worry, I'm here now to explain. I understand, you need the man to explain it for you. When he called you a racist on Twitter, he was mocking you, because that's the same thing you do to everyone else. He literally said he was gonna do that in the video you watched. Imagine if I hid behind my identity every time I was criticized. Oh, you guys didn't like my video on Zero? Oh, it must be because I'm black and I'm popping off. Oh, you didn't like it when I called you a bitch? Oh, I guess you must hate black excellence. Wow, that's unfortunate. For a racist. But I guess you missed that part. You don't have enough energy in your system. You conked out. Okay, I get it. So when you call him disingenuous for calling you a racist instead of engaging with your points, you're saying that about yourself because you do the exact same thing. That was kind of the point he was making there. She also criticized him for not pitying her enough over her opioid addiction. He makes fun of me for struggling with opiate addiction and then says that he like relishes in the fact that I have had to struggle with opiate addiction. So I called him out on Twitter for it. I don't understand what you want, a fucking medal? Biggest loser, is that what you want? Here you go, Here you go. Print that off, put it on your wall! You literally look like the biggest fucking bitch of all time! I look like the biggest bitch, but yet I'm known as the person, apparently, who got him banned. Like, apparently I don't matter, but you can make 40 minutes of videos about me, you know? What is it? Do I not matter, or am I worth almost an hour of content? Make up your mind. All these Twitch politicians speculating on the nature of homophobia, they talk about politics, and government, and society. They don't know what they're talking about. I'm about to lay down the real reason. Now listen you, watching you, have a choice to make. You can listen to me, Big Bungie, university graduate, doctorate in neuroscience. Or you can listen to Keffel's opioid junkie. Most people have no real world experience with the LGBT, as normal gays don't go around telling complete strangers about their sex lives. As such, all their interactions with the group come from one place. Twitter. And that's why homophobia exists. She's truly a hero to the trans community. After all, to her, trans issues are the life and death of thousands of people in her audience. But how does she do this? What is she doing to save all these lives? Hitler is back from the dead! All around the globe, extremist groups are rallying behind the revival of Hitler too. The president has made a statement on the matter. Hitler 2 has just launched a nuke at Israel. Ah! Gentlemen, we've faced with a serious problem. Hitler 2 has just returned from the dead. Anyone has any ideas, I'm open. As far as I'm concerned, General, there's only one thing we can do. We did it, everybody. We ratioed Hitler. We saved the world. I used to think the ratios were really funny and silly, but now I realize that there's power in it. You can prove a point with a ratio. 
it's not about the ratio, it's about sending a message. And that message is, I'm not going to do anything more to help people than this. Destiny laughed at one of Keffels' fans saying that a Twitter ratio had saved their life and made them feel safe in this cold and uncaring world. Response to Ian Miles Chong quote tweeting me was better than I could have possibly imagined. I never thought Twitter ratios could make me feel so much safer as a trans person on the internet. Thank you so much, Keffels, and everyone that helped. <laughs> And this caused Keffels to go hell mode nuclear. She started calling Destiny a transphobe and brigading him publicly. Destiny then got banned from Twitch, which Keffels publicly took credit for, for immediately rolling it back. Destiny just did it to himself. There are literally billions of reasons why he could have been banned. That being said, none of those reasons were given, and Keffels took credit for it directly before going on a power trip and threatening to get another guy banned for transphobia over, you guessed it, liked criticism. She then publicly called for his Twitter account to be removed. According to her, this was just shit posting, and the only reason people didn't get it is because she's trans. I think it's incredibly based that everyone saw me trolling and was like, this is 100% real. Corner her publicly adding Twitter support, snitching on Destiny for ban evading, and then asking her followers to boost it. Well, that was just her kidding around. I guess it makes sense that her jokes will be more self-destructive than the rest of us. So Destiny blocks her after this, and right, and rightly so, because she is clearly trying to get his Twitter account banned. Then she starts bragging about how he's scared of her. But it's all justified, guys, because after he got banned on Twitch, he started a cozy account. So hey, she was right the whole time. It's like criticizing someone for living in a motel after you've burned their house down. By the way, if the argument is that he's a Nazi because he's on Cozy, wouldn't that make you an exploitative capitalist because you're on Twitch? She then falsely accused him of stealthing, the act of removing a condom during sex, which she likened to rape. She also refused to apologize for the false claim. The reason for this being that she lies about not being trans to trick straight people into having sex with her. I love that several months ago, he said that if a trans woman does not disclose she's trans before having sex with someone. They are a rapist. I have done this. I'm a rapist. Why am I expected to apologize for anything? I don't care. So is the reason you're not apologizing because you don't see rape as immoral or? Skeffles has the same personality type as Todd from Breaking Bad. She seems completely incapable of determining human emotion. You look like a fucking sociopath here, not because- I don't look like a sociopath. <laughs> All of the people who have gone after me so far have made themselves look like far bigger sociopaths than I could ever do for myself. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. I shall now sum up the quartering Keffel's drama. You're a pedophile. No, 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 you're a pedophile. <sighs> 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 After this event, Keffels did the only thing she could reasonably do. Publicly harass the guy's sponsors, to which Ricky Berwick asked her not to do it because it's bad for the platform, and then Keffels called him a neo-Nazi and sent her fans to harass him. He's not defending him for being transphobic. He's saying that you going after the quartering sponsors isn't cool. Keffels then responds, so he was defending him then. I see the lady hormones are kicking in. She tries to like spin him as a Nazi using his DMs and she shares them, and he's like giving her good advice. He's being kind, he's being genuine, he's telling her to stop caring about what other people think about her and just be herself. He's clearly speaking from experience. I mean, fucking look at the guy. He's been a public figure for years. You don't think he's gotten shit for being crippled? But nah, Kefos just turns around, calls him a neo-Nazi. I fundamentally misunderstood what Ricky was doing because I thought he was a good guy. And I just said, based Ricky. She tries to spin some narrative about thinking he was a good guy. Hey, you think you're tricking with this? He didn't immediately take your side and suck you off. So you figured you'd just try and ruin him because that's what you do with everyone who gives you any amount of pushback. I dread to think about your boyfriend's existence. And then she does the whole stone toss as a Nazi thing. So let me bring up more and show you how bad this is. This is a stone toss. <laughs> white belt. Oh my god! One of the stone toss. And you may be thinking to yourself, this is fucked up. This is fucked However, up. this is one of the more tame the stone toss comments. Don't let them control your control you. Just open your mind. The stone toss man. 
and then says, honestly, it seems more likely that prisoners died from insufficient supply lines in a war-torn Germany rather than enough de-lousing chemicals to gas a civilian junk. And then it, like, cuts off before it says Jews. And then the hippie covers his mouth and says, shut up. And that's not even the only even the Holocaust only denial comment. Like in this one, the guy <laughs> bro, can you believe that you still deny genocide like this? Well, folks are <laughs> <all> <laughs> Um, the real question is, how many Jew jokes did Hitler tell get his reputation? Five? Seven? No, God. No. Ten? Ten Jew jokes? Jesus Christ! No wonder he has his reputation, I mean. Ten Jew jokes? He couldn't have done anything worse than that. He took it away of the line. On August 5th, the police stormed the home of Keffels, put an assault rifle in her mouth, called her a sweaty man, and then stole all her silver. So, none of that happened. The police knocked on the door and announced themselves as police officers. She let them in, they searched around, and then left. So the whole woke up with a gun pointed at my head? Bit of a fucking fib, innit? I saw people saying that this and what Keffels said were the same thing. It's the same thing in the way that saying, I love your skin, I wish I would skin like yours, and threatening to kill someone and wear their skin is the same thing. I'm not gonna speculate into this too much, but in the same video where she says the police have not returned her belongings, she shows the little doggy bag her belongings were stored in. What, did they just fucking give you that bag with nothing in it? Like, what? what is, what is that fucking souvenir? My devices will not be returned to us before digital forensics analyzes them. This is a process my lawyer advised me could take months. You should get a new lawyer, Keffels. He was fucking way off. Even based on your story, it took less than a week. But even though her and the police's stories contradict one another, you gotta remember that the police lie. Keffels, on the other hand, never lied about social interactions. Uh, can someone just, like, send me, about? like, exactly what my fake DM said? So there she's there, doing bits. She's typing it up in... This section up here. See, like, you can and make it say anything. Don't worry. Keffels has already found out who did it. It was Destiny. He was pulling all the strings. Evil mastermind Destiny. Also, she started a GoFundMe over this, and she said that the GoFundMe was for raising money to help her move. And if she reached the goal, any money that went over the goal would be going to legal action so she can sue the police and then as soon as she was about to hit the goal every single time she like upped the goal by like fucking 20k nice one fucking communist over it at the end of the day i feel sorry for normal trans people all trans people have to represent them are keffels who fucks children vosh who fucks children and hassan who also fucks children at this point the best representation the trans community has is the serial killer from sleepaway camp